Hello guys, today we are discussing this 11.6 inch notebook from Acer, model number Acer ES1132. The laptop was received today morning and I, when I opened it, uh, the laptop was seemed very cute laptop and uh, with 11.6 inch and 1.25 kgs of weight, it's a dream for the travelers. So, and coming at at a 11 uh, 14,500 price, it's a steal. So, uh, from the front, uh, the form factor is good, matte, matte finish, but it attracts pretty much fingerprints on the surface. Now, coming back on back to the laptop, there are two stickers on the slots for uh, opening the laptop, which means that you cannot upgrade the RAM until or unless you are you want to forfeit your warranty so the laptop has a 2 gb ram which i believe for operating windows 10 os is just enough to operate you may think of uh, upgrading it to 4 gb but for that you have to open the laptop or go to the uh, acer service center for uh, your support for keeping your warranty intact now the when I open it, you can see the laptop, it's good, uh, the screen is matte finish and the keyboards are very, the keyboard is good and the touchpad is also at the right location. Now coming on to the specifications, I'll zoom, focus it on to it, it's Intel Celeron processor N3350 with Intel HD graphics, 2 GB DDR3 RAM, 500 uh, GB hard disk. The laptop comes with a pre-installed Lupus Linux uh, on it. But since it is not very user friendly, I went about uh, installing the uh, Windows OS. Now the important fact to note, uh, guys, uh, this uh, actually this laptop does not support Windows 7 OS. It only supports the Windows 10 and the company had said that it only uh, it only let you install the original Windows only. But uh, you can go about and uh, use your uh, previous Windows, uh, Win uh, Windows OS and uh, install it by using a trick. So what we'll do, uh, I will tell you how to do about, uh, I am switching it on. So continuously press F2. Here I have set a password. You will also need to set this password to enable it. Now go on to the security section. There you are seeing white mark supervisor password. Enter a new password and then you come to this boot. Here it was earlier enabled and when you enter the supervisor password you will see it as now disabled. Now exit and say discard. So now it is okay. So what we are going to do, you take a uh, uh, pen drive and format it at f uh, uh, FAT32 system. Now copy the contents of the window OS onto the pen drive and just insert the pen drive into one of the USB drive. Now actually how I, uh, why I am saying this uh, procedure is because when you format, uh, when you make a bootable uh, pen drive using Rufus. Uh, the ISO image you take will not let it uh, keep the format at FAT32. It will change it to NTFS and this laptop does not detect NTFS. So uh, I fiddled around for whole day to come to this conclusion that you just need to uh, use a formatted F32 pen drive and uh, copy the contents of the Windows OS onto the pen drive and reinsert in the new laptop. Now the job is done and now you can see that as I am talking the it has come. The laptop is pretty much fast in case if you don't want to have it, it too much loaded. So uh, with normal uh, net web surfing and uh, word uh, typing and all those things uh, the laptop is just su sufficient. So. Here is uh, my review that uh, for all those travelers who are not much, uh, who don't uh, like to carry heavy weight laptops with them, this is a very good option. And for the new, uh, for the people who just uh, have uh, 
a job profile which demands only typing or, or uh, coding and all this can be used uh, with pretty much ease so you can see that uh, my, i have actually installed a windows 10 os onto it so for any other additional comment please comment uh, please comment on the uh, uh, comment below